Hello, we're going to look at integrals involving exponential functions to um, a base other than e. So we're going to look at integrals in the form a to the x dx. Now we have two options. You can actually convert a to the x to base e using this conversion or you can actually use this basic formula. The integral of a to the x dx is equal to 1 over ln a times a we'll say to the x plus c and if it is in terms of a to the u, well, there's not much difference. It looks the same. I mean, the basic formula looks the same, but you know that when you get the actual problem, you have to con con uh, convert it to a to the u. So let's look at some samples. All right, let's take the integral of 5 to the negative x dx. All right, so I obviously have an, an a to the u scenario, and I want to make sure I take care of that negative. So u is going to equal the negative x. du is equal to negative 1 dx. I don't have a negative 1 dx, but... I can put the negative 1 times the negative 1. Everything checks. My rewrite is a negative 1 times the integral of 5 to the u du. And when I integrate, it's negative 1 times 1 over ln 5 times 5 to the u which is 5 to the negative x plus a constant. And so we just want to clean that up with the negative. You can certainly do negative 1 all over ln 5 times 5 to the x in the denominator plus a constant. You should be getting good at these by now. All right, let's try this one. The integral of x times three to the neg, uh, sorry, to the three minus two x squared dx. So again, we've got a a to the u scenario. So u is going to equal three minus two x squared du. Therefore, follows negative. 4x dx. And I've got the x dx. I need the negative 4x dx. And the negative 1 fourth comes out front. So now I can find the antiderivative. Negative 1 fourth times 1 over ln 3 times a to the u, well, a is 3, the u is the quantity 3 minus 2x squared, plus a constant. So it's kind of messy, but we can clean it up a little bit. Negative 3 to the 3 mi minus uh, 2x squared all over 4 ln 3 plus a constant. Yeah, we're going to be doing a few of these tomorrow. We're also going to be doing some compound interest and exponential growth application problems. So it's all fun. See you tomorrow.